I am Beard Mobox, and if I don't say so myself, this video is very interesting. So with the draft having just happened, I of course have been making videos about that, and as part of my video on the rookie season simulations, I went on to Madden 12, and it's then that I realised that Madden 12 of course has the rookie class of the 2011 draft, a draft class regularly talked about as one of the greatest of all time. Not just because of the huge names taken in the first round such as J.J. Watt, Von Miller, Cam Newton, A.J. Green, Patrick Peterson, Julio Jones and so on, but also because of the amazing amount of sleeper picks, some of whom have turned into the best players in their positions. The point of this though isn't to say haha look at how bad Madden is at knowing how good players actually are, because that's a bit unfair, so instead it's more of a look at how huge a leap these players have made compared to their original valuations. On top of rookies, I've added a few other notable players that have made huge leaps, and for context, overalls in the 60s basically mean the best this guy can be as a decent starter, low 70s as a solid starter, high 70s into low 80s, which is pretty much the ceiling for rookie overalls, means this guy can be big time. And if your overall is 50 something, Madden is just being kind and putting you in the game until you get cut. With all that said, let's take a look at how wrong Madden 12 was. So we start with receivers, a group that doesn't actually have any rookies in it, but these are just crazy. The jumps are huge for some of these guys. And we start with Demarius Thomas, the 91 overall in Madden 16. And then we jump over to Madden 12, where he's a lowly 73 with one year of experience. So from 73 to 91. Then we move on to Emmanuel Sanders, 92 overall in Madden 16, 70 overall in Madden 12. Then Eric Decker, a strong 89 overall in Madden 16, compared to a 69 overall in Madden 12. And now the final receiver, the craziest of them all, Antonio Brown, the maximum 99 overall in Madden 16, compared to the 69 overall on Madden 12. On to the tight ends and our first rookie, Julius Thomas, 87 overall on Madden 16, 64 overall overall on Madden 12. Then we have Jordan Cameron, a nice strong 84 overall compared to a 61. Then we have Martellus Bennett here, 87 overall nowadays on Madden 16, not so high on Madden 12, 73 overall having played three years. Delaney Walker, nowadays one of the top tight ends on Madden 94 overall compared to 70 overall despite having played five years in the league. This one's great, everybody's favourite human highlight reel from last season, Gary Barnage. 88 overall and here he is hiding deep in the Panthers roster with a 68 overall. So we move on to left end and this one's pretty crazy too. Michael Bennett 97 overall the highest rated player on the Seahawks roster 72 overall here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Everson Griffin here with a nice 91 rating compared to this 67. This one I had to include for how long he'd already been in the league so Jason Hatcher 88 overall very high rating. And here he is with 5 years experience on the Cowboys, 65 overall. So another one of the class of 2011, Pernell McPhee, a 93 rated outside linebacker. And here he is in Madden 12 with a rating of 63. Here we have Geno Atkins, the beating heart of the Bengals defense and an overall of 97. Here in Madden 12 however, he's down at 72. Linval Joseph has a great rating here at 91, not so much can be said for Madden 12 where he's 69. Another rookie here, Jarrell Casey, can't really get much better nowadays with an overall of 97. However, in Madden 12, they had him down at a 70. This one has got to be my favourite because they got it so wrong. Justin Houston, left outside linebacker, 98 overall. But back in Madden 12, he had an overall of 64. KJ right here, our first Seahawks draftee, an overall of 89 at right outside linebacker, but back in Madden 12 he was at a 62. I like this one a lot, mainly just because the guy's pretty much unrecognisable. DeAndre Levy here, 92 overall, but back in Madden 12 and looking very fresh faced, 77 overall. This jump isn't too crazy, but Navarro Bowman before his injury used to get rated in the mid 90s, so here he is at 88 in Madden 16, but back in Madden 12, a 73 overall. This one is the best one, no doubt. Richard Sherman, 93 overall, but back in Madden 12, 52. This is just Madden saying, yeah, nice try, mate. We won't see you next year. Oh, did he prove them wrong. Here we have Rashad Jones, the best strong safety in Madden 16. 97 overall. But back in Madden 12, it wasn't quite as cushy for him, getting rated down with a 70 overall. But remember, if you think you've got it bad, somebody's got it worse. Cam Chancellor, 95 overall on Madden 16. But back in Madden 12, they disrespected him with a 69 overall. 
And that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like I said at the start, obviously they rate rookies and stuff lower than they actually are because they don't really know. They're always going to be rated higher on later games, but you can tell by what the rating is what EA expects of them. And Richard Sherman's 52 was a great example of that. They expected nothing, and now he's 93. In Madden 15, it was a 99 overall. EA gets it wrong. Oh my god, play! Hey, you made it to the end of the video! If you haven't seen the previous video yet, you can do that by clicking here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, you can do that by clicking here and subscribing. New videos every Friday and Sunday, and sometimes Wednesdays too. 